how often were you on set and what was your responsibilities when you were on set? Um, to begin with, I was... <sighs> this is really hard, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take this off. Right, okay. Right. Um, so uh, I was on set. I was on set pretty much every day. Uh, yep, yeah, my name is Sam Stevens and I'm the production designer on the wedding feature film. I am Unit 1's um, costume designer, so I work closely with the production designer, making sure that every single character in all the scenes that are delegated to Unit 1 have all the appropriate costumes and we design them together and then um, go out and make them and find them. The main obstacle we first over that we first had to overcome was the bridesmaid dresses because we looked at renting them and we looked at making them. Renting them was about £250 per dress just to rent and we needed to sort of um, like ruin them as well and muddy them up in certain scenes. So that was, we took, me and Sam took a long time fit, trying to figure out what to do about it. Um, then eventually we came to the decision that we would buy cheap dresses, pink ones, then we altered them up. Well, we got um, Dominique, who's the other costumes, and her auntie altered them for us. Yeah, so her auntie uh, got this. I, got, I found this dress online, and I bought seven of these, and it only cost a uh, 100 quid, which was really good, considering I thought it was going to be 300. So then she, she um, I, got, I bought this material, and then um, we just said we wanted puffy bits, and she did this, and then she got some, and then she got some more material around here, and sewed it around the middle, so then you could have a nice big bow at the back. So it's a, just a bit, just a bit ridiculous, really. Suits, they were a nightmare to be honest, because um, everywhere we go, they wouldn't have any size. So we had to get about eight suits in all in all, like with this tiny budget as well and so all it just kept coming and coming. I cried in the middle of Asda's because it was getting closer to the shoot and they didn't have enough suits in, in the right sizes and stuff so that was that was really hard because we hadn't got all the actors yet so we, I was still waiting on sizes for the suits um, it was literally I think a few days before we started shooting I got all these suits in and they cost like over 200 quid I think 200 300 quid. Ben and Peter the directors they just said as long as it was sort of like sticking to the script and like not just completely different then we could have like as much like artistic license as we wanted or like we, me and Sam got to like design everything that we wanted ourselves and you know, choose whatever we wanted as long as it fitted in to you know the initial criteria we could have as much leeway as we wanted really. Right, Ugh. really frustrating because I was really looking forward to Penny's house because it's described as a very cluttered house and like Penny's like quite um quite a bubbly character so I really wanted to like go kind of wild with their I went out and got loads of like different little props and stuff for the house like it is a good job like if you're like on a proper film and like you've got all this money but it was it was a big learning thing I suppose like learning how to like budget your money as well and stuff so so you didn't really feel that creative but it did you know Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. Let me find you the stripper costume. I got this stripper costume from Anne Summers. <laughs> but when I bought it, I didn't realise it had a hole in the middle. So I had to um, I had to get like gaffer tape and, and sort that out. But this alone cost 30 quid. And I don't think you even really get to see it in the film in the end. So it's stuff like that you've really got to look out for because it because she ended up wearing like the this character the bouncer's coat on top of her because it was really cold shooting that night. So I was on unit one a lot because Christian, bless him, love you, but he doesn't know how to do like girls uh, girls hair and stuff. And it's a wedding, so it was like a bridesmaid hairdo. So Christian was um, always drawing the cock on Sam's heads which he was very good at. Uh, basically, just to make him look like hung over and like crap, I put some like blusher under his eyes to like, to make him look really tired and then obviously I drew the penis on his head because he's supposed to have a penis drawn on his head. I am really tired. There we go, like it's work, like we to work that well. He's such a good actor, he's getting into character really well. Chaz was never on set, so uh, <laughs> I was doing his job. I don't think he wanted props, so therefore his heart wasn't really in it, but that's not an excuse. And he did let, he let the crew down. 
But I picked up the pieces, so it's all right. <laughs> I was just telling them. I was just telling them. Uh, I was just telling them how great you were on the film. <laughs> As if you've actually came. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Chao Singh, I was props for Unit 1. I was on set a bit, just a few days. Um, not much, like, my main role was to sort of just bring the props there, make sure they got back. That's all I really did. I mean, I guess I could have helped out a bit more, but... What do you think of the advantages of doing a feature film at this level? Um, I don't really see any. I think getting smaller groups and doing short films would be a lot better for everyone. I'd say there's no other uni that does it, so we've got such a, like an added experience that no no other student will have. So um, like when we want to go onto a professional film set after we graduate, like we'll have so much more knowledge about it, and we like know what we're doing like a lot quicker. I don't know. I mean, when you make more than one short film a year, everyone sort of gets to have a go at everything, which is sort of what a lot of people wanted on a course like this. I think we're doing really well with what like what we've got because we've had so many setbacks I think so I'm like quite proud of us all because there's been so many things going wrong. Do it later. Um, so I think some off. people aren't ready for this shit so uh, save it one more. <laughs> I think this some people are more awake. Yeah we just literally made it up just now. Yeah, yeah. we need to do this. 60 gave an answer back on no, no, we do like a... Seems uh, pretty unrealistic. Like slow motion, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. Like a ripple. Armour. Yay! That's okay, we were just going to do that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, let's save the shit for later. Okay, you need to stay tuned. Okay.